One of the features you will see within the different measurement templates is the cut fill analysis tool. In the most basic terms, cut refers to the material removed from an area, whereas fill refers to the material added to an area. When considering 3D models, cut is considered the material that exceeds the desired elevation and fill is the area that is below the desired elevation. In this training module, we will go over how to visualize cut and fill on your models. You will also learn how to utilize the different measurement tools that feature cut fill, how to visualize your measurements in 2D or 3D cut fill perspectives, how to compare progress from previous surveys, and we'll show you real-world examples of using cut fill for analysis. Refer back to our training video using the measurement tools to analyze your survey for more information about selecting measurement templates and creating polygons in the platform. Welcome to Propeller U. Let's take a look at how cut fill is viewed within different measurement templates. For this example, we'll use a basic volume measurement template to create a polygon around a stockpile. Once the measurement is created, you will see the cut fill render for your stockpile. You'll notice you have the options for viewing cut fill in either a two or three dimensional diagram. Both provide the same volume, it's simply how you prefer to look at the model. When viewing the 2D cut fill, it shows a heat map of all the cut fill overlaid on the stockpile or area within the measurement. In this example, we are using Smart Volume, which interpolates a base from all of the points placed when making the measurement around the pile. All of the material shown in red by default is above the base and considered cut. Anything below the base is shown in blue and considered fill. You are able to change the threshold of the heat map by using the slider to adjust the spectrum of the cut fill measurements or by typing in specific values. You can also add more colors if you like to have a more defined visualization of the cut fill increments. When viewing the 2D heat map, you can adjust the opacity of the model with the slider. Make sure to click apply if you want to keep the adjustments to the heat map colors or opacity. Also, it's worth noting that these changes will appear on your downloadable measurement reports. You can also toggle on contours with the 2D heat map. This provides another way to visualize elevation changes in an area. Next, let's take a look at 3D cut fill view. With the 3D model of our measurement, we're given a different perspective of the same stockpile. This is a great way to display the measurement from a real world vantage point. Notice as I move around the measurement, I can take a look at the stockpile from different angles. When you have 3D cut fill selected, it's for viewing within the platform only. It won't be visualized on a printed report as it does with the 2D cut fill. The real power of the cut fill calculations can be seen most clearly in the comparison measurements. Depending on what data has been uploaded to your site, such as multiple surveys or design files, you might see a few different comparison measurement options available to you. When using measurement templates such as compare to previous survey, compare to latest design, or design design measurements, the cut fill follows the same concept. Viewing the earthwork that either has been removed or added when compared to another survey or design file. For this example, we'll take a look at the compare to previous survey template. Let's start by simply creating a polygon in an area we know has been worked on since we last surveyed. The cut fill will calculate the units based on your site's setup. The site we're using for our examples is set up in units used in the United States. In this example, we see the 2D cut fill is showing just over 14,000 cubic yards have been cut and 1,451 yards have been filled in this area since the last survey. If you hover over the heat map, you can see exactly how much area has been cut or filled at a specific point. This is a valuable tool when figuring out how much material has been cut or filled over time. To see the progress since the original ground survey, you can change the compared survey to original ground survey. This shows that 21,116 cubic yards have been cut and 455 yards have been filled in this area, leaving a net removal of 20,661 cubic yards. For users working on landfills, another way you might want to look at cut fill analysis is when calculating the remaining airspace in a cell. In this example, 
We are looking at a landfill cell that is comparing the current survey to the end of life cell which was imported as a design file. We see by looking at the fill numbers that we have over 838 cubic meters left of fill before maxing out this cell. In this training module, we went over how to visualize cut fill to track the progress of your entire site, including how to visualize the 2D and 3D heat maps, the different measurement templates available, comparing progress to previous surveys, and real world examples of how using the cut fill tool in the platform can help you analyze your survey. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can check out the training materials associated with this video or visit our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com.